All right, guys. So today we're looking into the Dell Xeon E5 4669 V3 2.1 GHz 18 core processor, and this actually enhances the performance and the speed of your system. Additionally, the virtualization technology. Um, all right. Uh, hey, can I get whoever wrote the script here? I, I need I need some help here. Can someone go over the product real, real quick with me? I need to catch up on this, so I'll, I'm not fully understanding the vision here. Um, hello, yo, John, can you can you help me out real quick? Yeah, that part is what Dell sent us over. Um, later on the script, I added some changes to it, so you'll just read off that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so this was the script is sent out to us by Dell, right? So we're just reading whatever script they sent us. Okay, got it. All right. So the Dell Xeon processor here actually enhances the virtualization technology and All right guys, so here we have a 120Hz monitor and a 144Hz monitor. So as you can noticeably see that the 144Hz monitor is at least 10 times better than the 120Hz monitor. Like I don't understand why anyone would go into Best Buy or any tech store and even look at these 120Hz monitors. They're completely garbage and they're completely obsolete because there are way better displays out here such as this 144Hz monitor. So. I don't care what laptop you have, what specs you have, what gaming rig you have, if you don't have the highest refresh rate out right now, in the current time, you are missing out on great importance. All right, guys, welcome to the best tech podcast in the world. I'm your host, Tech Alpha, and today we have a report of my usage on the Huawei P30 Pro, and I've been using this device for about 30 days. I have my daily sim on this, and I have to say, my initial impressions of this device is that it has the best camera out right now and a really clean operating system. Like the UI is really clean and minimalistic, it's way better than any iOS device. and I even think it's better than stock Android. So Huawei is doing an amazing job with this P30 Pro and I have been using this non-stop like day and night and yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get started with the full podcast after this 15 second word from our sponsor. So I'll be right back. Hey, so tag off, I just got a question for you. Yeah. Why don't you ever put a case on your phone? So the way I see it is like, if you use a phone case, then you're kind of wasting all the engineering of the phone and the form factors being like completely thrown out the window because you're now using a chunky rubber piece of material around your phone, right? And I personally can recommend this to my viewers because I only endorse what I truly believe in. Therefore, I throw this literally in the garbage like I don't believe in phone cases at all I'm anti case in fact with that being said what I do believe in is skins and as you can see right here I am rocking a dbrand skin which is the newest one the black swarm skin you can go into my description and cop yourself one as well but this I believe in skins don't waste your engineering of the phone they actually just make your phone look better so yeah go get yourself some dbrand skins Alright guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be going on Wish and we're looking at the top 5 electric scooter boards that we can buy so that we can review them here on my channel. So, let's head down onto Wish and see what kind of electric boards that we can find. Alright. Alright guys, so... We got some crazy leaks for the iPhone 11. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen right now for you. And this, I believe, is going to be the exact copy of what the iPhone 11 is going to look like when it comes out this year or maybe next year. I don't know. But all I do know is this is looking like to be the confirmed leak of the iPhone 11 straight from a source that I unfortunately cannot disclose. But just you guys have to take my word for it. This is going to be the iPhone 11. All right. Oh my god, another day that I gotta go on the Google Play Store and scroll my way around all the apps to find 10 apps that 
I'm definitely not going to use and I definitely haven't used but I'm still going to tell my viewers that hey I've definitely been using these and then yeah it's not lying is it whatever And then the last type of tech YouTuber is the one that uses Fortnite so they can get views and do clickbait. Is that is 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 that for me? Yo, who made the script? <laughs>